jump in the shot and give me an AV check real quick? Military. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> hey, now those of you uh, just uh, tuning in the stream, uh, we're live here in downtown Los Angeles, California, at the LAPD headquarters. The LA P uh, Police Commission just gave their ruling on what they think about the guilt or innocence of the cops who killed his off board. Basically, uh, they're saying that one cop was out of line and one cop wasn't. Uh, both cops uh, shot Ezel, so it's okay for one cop to shoot Ezel, but it's not okay for another cop to shoot Ezel. Um, basically, what was explained in there is that the decision for discipline of the officers goes to Chief Beck. Chief Beck is the person who gave the recommendation that there was nothing out of policy. So five. one's all out of compliance across the board, uh -huh. which I think is the one that, you know, actually... They both shot. They both did? They okay. both did. Oh, they both did? Yeah. So then the other one was only kind of out of compliance for drawing the gun, not for shooting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was both both, both, both cops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure both... I thought it was both... did the shooting. Were they both at the Vegas Center? Yeah, this, like, both names are, like, everywhere saying that they both did it. So I'm pretty sure... So then the one... One of them who shot him, apparently, was uh, Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, um... Are we... Are we... Not as great? Okay. So right now, we are behind the LAPD uh, headquarters. Um, they kind of reconfigured the whole access to the department and uh, forced everyone to the back of the department instead of giving people free access to go uh, whichever way they chose to go, which is normal, how it's normally, if you normally if you come to the LAPD, you can go in or out in any direction that you want. But they have, uh, they have barricades here. Um, I'm gonna call them uh, cowards, cowardicades, because uh, I think that LAPD are, are cowards. Looks like Naji Ali is over there talking uh, to all the press. Uh, Naji Ali is like the puppet, so-called community leader that no one in any community I know of looks to as a leader. Uh, they bring out these quote community leaders uh, whenever something happens with LAPD, and I think their job is to kind of um, calm people down and pacify. So there's a lot of people who are pissed off at the uh, photographers and camera people who did photograph and film um, is off board's mom. Uh, Mrs. Ford requested not to be photographed uh, when she spoke in front of the LAPD. And um, of course, every journalist here, except for me, uh, was clamoring to get that shot. They wanted to get that shot of the crying mother, and that, that is the shot that they wanted. And I overheard some of them behind me saying, yes, I got that shot. Just doing my job. That's what they're gonna say. That's what they all said. This is my job. I'm doing my job. Never mind that your job is disrespecting a, a mother, a mourning mother. She had specific wishes. 
and you violated those wishes. There is a respect factor. Clearly. All right, I'm going to go over here. Come I think that's pretty obvious. What is your reaction? My reaction, I think they just gave us breadcrumbs. And I think that the example of Sean Hemmings, where, you know, they said that there should be some disciplinary action that was happening to the Riverside, in fact, just excused it. So I think that that is something very similar that can happen right now. I think that Beck still needs to be fired. And I think that the next person that's in line needs to be looking out and seeing what, we're, what our reactions are and actually need to make the right decision. Because I think that this was just to appease us. Fired for why? What, what are the reasons, especially in light of this decision? Because Beck is not the one that has made this decision of giving us breadcrumbs of one officer and not the next. So they, I think they've done what they did so that we wouldn't incite a riot or whatever they thought with the riot here that they have out here for us. The, the people lined up, this whole militarization that they have out here, the helicopters that we already knew that it wasn't going to be exactly what justice is because they wouldn't have the force out here like they had it out here. So we already were prepared. We just did a song and dance with them right now. But what we really want is for real justice to be done. And what that really is, is Chief Beck, you haven't been doing your job. You're not protecting black people. You have no desire to. So you should be fired. And I think that the next person should really look into their heart and see these people need to be fired. Both of them. Have you a chance to read the two reports and how much, even if it... I'm actually, I, I mean, I, I don't think that you're insulting my intelligence, but I'm a PhD student. And my, um... What do you mean? Student, how am I insulting No, no, I, no, no, I said I don't think that you are, but we have read. Like, I am, uh, I have a I didn't know it was in, released until right now. Well, what I'm saying is that we've already known the case. And we know that they have been using the information. And actually, they said that it was released when they were not supposed to. And so this is now the appropriate method. That now this commission has said that one person was out of policy and then one is, like, only out of policy with one thing. So now we're hearing what they said. So now the report will come out. But I don't think that it's about the report. What it's about is seeing that injustice is done and firing them. I don't think that they need to tell me any other information other than Ezel Ford was shot in the back with a muzzle print to his back. That's what I need to know. And I, that's enough information for me. But yes, I have read all of the proceedings and everything else because I, I am an African American studies that degree at USC. I have a master's in ethnic studies and now I'm a PhD student. So I think that I'm very capable of understanding what's going on at a larger level. Right I'm just curious as to whether or not you give the reports of veracity or if you think that somehow they were manipulated. I, I don't even think it's about manipulation at this point. I think it's about what happened in there. It's like um, people were given extra time when they were saying like, oh, I don't think, you know, a black man said Charlie Beck isn't a racist. Then they're like, oh, you get more than two minutes to talk. But as soon as someone is saying things about their hurt or their anger or saying what the police is actually doing, which is not caring about black lives, and it's like, your time is up and we can't give you any more time. So that's bending the rules in the way that they would like to bend the rules. And I think that's exactly what, you're going to protect your friends, aren't you? Like, you know, that's what they're doing. They're protecting their buddies. And I think that... Charlie Beck's a nuts. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying that these officers need to be fired, and I'm saying that Charlie Beck needs to be fired, and if Mar uh, Mayor Garcetti is not on board, he needs to be fired, too. And the people that are coming in, they really need to do a great job of figuring out what justice is, and this is not it. Can I have your full name again? Shamel Bell, S-H-A-M-E-L-L, -L, last name Bell, B-E-L-L. -L. And you're with? Black Lives Matter Los Angeles. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chamel, S H A M S M E R E L L, Sasha Bell, E L L. We're going to continue to organize and continue to struggle for justice. We got to remember to.